Welcome back to Just Scribble. I have received my July and August sub boxes from the stationery selection and I thought we would open them up together and check out what I got. As much as I love getting my stationery selection sub boxes every month, since the pandemic and all the shipping stuff, we've been getting two at a time and I actually kind of prefer that. It's kind of fun because since I don't get one every single month, I can kind of forget about it a little bit and then when it comes it's like Christmas and I also get to unbox double the contents at one time so I'm actually kind of really enjoying this two-for-one shipping thing but enough about that let's get into the box so this is the July box get the little paper that just has a little bit of a note from Mitz and her family and it tells us what's included in the box this month so we are going to go through the items that we got so the first thing that we got in here is a Nombri Kokishi postcard. I'm not sure I pronounced that correctly, but it is a risograph digital screen printing method. The ink will fade if you rub too hard on it, but it is this gorgeous little drawing. And on the back, it is a actual postcard that you could mail out to somebody. I will not mail this out. I will definitely be tipping this into one of my journals and writing on the back of it and just keeping it as a beautiful keepsake. You could also frame this and it would look really cute in your office or your guest room or something like that. But I am going to use this for journaling. So that is our little postcard. The next thing we got is the Pilot Felt Tipped Sign Pen. I am really excited about this. I actually saw a little sneak from Mitz about this pen. And maybe we'll have to share this on either an Instagram Live or on a separate video, but you can actually refill this with your fountain pen ink. So you could either use up the cartridge or just clean it out. And then you could put your own fountain pen ink into the cartridge and you could use this felt tip sign pen with your own fountain pen ink. I definitely wouldn't do it personally with like a glitter ink, but any of your normal fountain pen inks that just shade would be gorgeous with it. And it does come with an extra nib and four of the cartridges. It is a screw cap. It's a very nice size. It's smaller than like, this is the Twisby 580, so it's smaller than that but it does post, so it'll be longer when you write with it if you post it, so super comfortable to write with it. And then you just unscrew this part to expose the area to insert your cartridge. So you just take your cartridge, this little fat part this way, and you push it in there till it clips, till it sort of snaps in. Oops. And then you screw the back back on It'll take a little bit for the ink to get up the feed and all the way to the tip, but then you have ink and you can start writing with it. I'm really excited about this pen. I've never seen this pen in the States, so I'm excited to get this. Let's scoot that aside for a second. The next thing we got is an Artnik ink pad. I love the Artnik inks. We get them in our stationery selection sub boxes quite often when we're getting ink pads and I just really like them. And this one is the color Topaz. That is 52 Topaz. It's a really pretty color for fall. So the next thing we got is a stamp to use with our ink pad. One of the things that I love about Mitz's boxes is if you get a stamp, you get an ink pad. So you always have what you need to get started with your stamp. This is a Shimanaga bird. It is a long-tailed bush tit bird, also called the forest fairy or the snow fairy because it is a small, cute little bird. That is adorable. I love that. That's so cute. It's a little stamp. Let's test it out real quick. Test it on the back of this paper, just because I have it. Actually, we'll test it on the back of this little piece of paper, just because I'm not sure how it will stamp on the back of the list paper, because it's a little bit of a slick paper. Let's put the cap back on. So cute. I kind of smudged it a little bit when I lifted it up but that is so cute. I love it. Love, love, love. So we got the stamp and we got the ink pad to use the stamp. The next thing we got were some papers. These are Fuikawa papers. 
I'm gonna open it up. I love all the papers that we get in Mitz's boxes when we get papers because you can use them for snail mail, but they also just make really gorgeous tip-ins for your journals. So this is, this is just a little card stock that came with it. And this is the information about this paper, but we got two of each design. So we got this beautiful one with the yellow center and the bright flowers and the blue birds. And then we got this one with the gorgeous flowers on it and a sort of rusty orange color. And then we got this one that has lines on it with the browns and the sort of soft pink colors. And then we got envelopes to go with each one. So one envelope for each design and two sheets of paper to write your snail mail or to add as tip-ins into your journals. You can also use these to put in journals that you make for your children. So you can write them a letter, you can put it in the envelope and then you can tip in the envelope and then later in life they can open it up and they can find the beautiful letter that you wrote to them. That is our papers that we got. We did get a little piece of candy. It's just like a little freebie that was thrown in. And then we got some washi tape. I'm gonna scoop the box out of the way. This is original washi tape number four. So Mitz created this washi tape by cutting and scanning together various pieces of vintage paper to design it. She loves a simple washi tape and so do I just because it adds a lot of dimension to your planner or your journaling pages, but it doesn't overpower. So if you're using stickers or tip-ins that have a design on them, the washi tape doesn't take away from it. It just kind of adds to it. Let me get it started and I will show it to you guys. That is the washi tape. Let's stick a piece down. Just tear off a little piece. It is a very subtle pattern that I really love. And I love the sort of olive green color tone to it. But that is our washi tape. So that is our July box. We got these beautiful papers. We got this original washi tape. We got the cute little bird stamp with the stamp pad. There's a sample of what it looks like. We got our postcard and we got our pilot felt tip sign pen with reusable cartridges, which I am really excited about. And our little piece of candy. So that is our July sub box. I love it. I'm very excited about this pen and I think the stamp is adorable and I have loved all of the original washi tape that Mitz has created. So I'm really excited for this box but I'm also really excited to see what August's box has. So let's open that one. So now we have August's box. Once again, we have the little paper. Let me flip this underneath so it's not in our way. So here's the paper. And then this talks about, once again, the items that we got in our box. This is so cute. I love binder clips and this is a Velos clip. The colors that we get will vary on it. I got this sort of hot pink color. It's so cute. If I can get it out of there. But this is adorable. Look at this cute little binder clip. So you could use this and just set it up on your desk like little decor, or you could use it to mark a special section in a book that you're writing in or in your journal or your planner. We got this cute star clip, mine is pink. The next thing we got is the Zebra BL pen. This is not just a regular ballpoint pen. It's designed for a writer to use. So it has a weighted tip so that the center of gravity on the pen is forward. So it makes for a more comfortable writing experience. It's supposed to help prevent stress when you're writing so that your hand doesn't get as much fatigue. And Zebra actually has a video up on YouTube where you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of this pen to a regular pen. So I put links down to that video down below. But this is the Blen pen. It is a ballpoint pen. I'm gonna get a little piece of paper. 
so we can write with it. It is black ink. It's really smooth to write with. And there's a little writing sample. Stick that over there. So we got our pen. The next thing we got is a Camiso stamp sticker set. I love their stickers and this is so cute. They look like little postage stamps. Aren't those adorable? I am really excited about these stickers. They are very, very thin. So they won't bulk up your planner or your journal. And they have a lot of cute designs on them. And I think they are awesome. So that is our little sticker set. I was reading down the list while I was pulling out the stickers and I saw something that is on the list and I am so excited. So I can't wait to share the last two items with you. So there's our stickers. The next thing we got is a set of the Kuretake Zig Real Brushes. So I love Kuretake Zig pens. I use their clean color dot pens all the time. I own every single colorway that they offer and they are one of my absolute favorite things. And these are a brush pen that you can use to art. So it has in it, it has the blue, an orange, a yellow, a green, a red, and a brown. And then it comes with a water brush so that you can use these to actually watercolor with. And then in the set, it actually came with little watercolor postcards, two of which have a picture already on them that coordinates with the picture that is on the package so that you can color that in. And then the other ones are blank so that you can draw yourself. These are awesome. It is a Claude Monet watercolor, the sketch that's on there, and you can color it however you want. Those are awesome. I am so excited about those. But what I'm most excited about is this. You guys know that I love Stalogy notebooks. I'm actually getting ready to move out of Stalogy into something else because I am finishing up my Stalogy and I wanna test something out and just try it out for myself. But I know as soon as that is finished, I will be going back to Astology. But recently, Astology announced that they were coming out with some new variations of their notebook. So if you're familiar with their notebook, let me grab one real quick. If you're familiar with their normal notebooks, they look like this. They are a grid. This is an A5 half year but they have little dates up at the top and then they have a faint grid on them. And that is how their A6, B6, A5, and B5 notebooks come, whether they're full or half year. But they recently came out with a plain aligned and a dot grid in their A5 size. And she included in this box, the dot grid in the A5 half year, which is my favorite size. I love the half year. And I am so stoked. Look at that. It's got a faint dot grid, there's no dates. It's perfect for bullet journaling. The dots are enough to help you draw straight lines for laying out your bullet journals and for writing straight, but it's not obtrusive at all. Like all Stelogy notebooks, it will lay flat when you're using it. I am in love, I am so excited. As of right now, they're only launching these new variations in the A5 size, and they're a little hard to come by in the United States but they have been asked to add B6 to the lineup for these variations. But now I have the dot grid and I am really excited. So we got the half year Stology dot grid. We got the Zig brush watercolor markers. We got the sticker set with the postage stamp design. We got the Beelin pen and we got the star clip. So that is our August stationery selection sub box. And I think it is awesome. So that is my unboxing of the July and August sub boxes from the stationery selection. As always, it does not disappoint. I'm super excited about the items that Mitz and her team curated for these boxes, and I look forward to getting started with them. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment below. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos, and don't forget to just scribble.